I think we've gone through quite an evolution of thought when it comes to the production of power in the United States. I think you view your energy provider as a necessary evil that you need, but not as a partner to your community's future. They're usually not something that's beautiful or, or something that you look at from a community perspective. With the Holland Energy Park, the community really embraced the fact that they have a private power system that they can be proud of. We involve the community in a lot of the decisions we, we make. In fact, we looked at not only the financial return on investment, but also sustainability factors like the snowmelt system and keeping that available to the city. We wanted to do something that would encourage investors and businesses and residents. We wanted an economic prosperity plan for Holland, Michigan. Our ultimate decision was to go ahead and build this plant on three basic principles, economic, the environmental, what the impact was, what carbon footprint we were going to, going to be leaving, and then also from the social standpoint, the integration. We have partnered with the Outdoor Discovery Center in the design of the Community Energy Park. We wanted to be sensitive to it being the eastern gateway to the city, and we wanted people to notice it and think about it, and we also wanted people to learn about it. I would have never have guessed in a thousand years that in Holland, Michigan, you'd have a power plant with the architectural features that this has. It wasn't like, oh, what is this big monstrosity that's building up? It's like, wow, this is our energy plant. This is our future. It became very clear when we evaluated uh, the bids and the competitors that Siemens uh, was at the front of the line. They wanted this to be more than a vendor-customer relationship and more of a partnership. When Siemens came on board, the city was very open with us about what their plans were for this project. It was obvious that this is going to be a world-class facility, and that's something that Siemens wanted to be involved in. I have said on more than one occasion that this really isn't a power plant. It is a snowmelt project that happens to make electricity. Energy that comes out of the combustion turbines and is available for steam production, which then is available for snowmelt heat. The SGT-800 is a Siemens gas turbine. It's it's about 50 megawatts, and it's really the backbone of this power plant. Later, we added a steam turbine, the SST400, and the exhaust energy and power coming out of the gas turbine and steam turbine not only produced good power for the city, but also gave the city the ability to expand on their snowmelt system. Snowmelt is basically taking the waste heat, hot water, circulating it under the streets and sidewalks of, of our uh, core city. I just love seeing that ribbon of white snow and then a, a brick street and walkways with people and children and everybody going into stores. It has been great for business, great for offices downtown. The vibrancy of downtown is just so increased with the use of snow melt, the biggest in North America. This project isn't just about producing power, it's about adding to a community. You know, did you ever think you'd have to talk to people from all different sectors of the community about building a power plant? No, you know, you just built one, you made power. But nowadays, it's an art and a science. The energy industry is constantly changing and evolving. And as an equipment manufacturer and service provider, we really need to anticipate those changes and drive ingenuity so that we're developing technology technology that helps our customers in the future.